Hey Aquarius, I hope you guys are all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the second half of November. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. All right, and because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can get a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box, or you can check out one of your other signs or even one of your person's other signs. All right, so let's see. Oh, we have Offer. How interesting. We just had this for Libra, actually. All right, so somebody is wanting to give you an offer, possibly, or you are wanting to make an offer to somebody. Let's see. So some of you might be dealing with a Libra. It's also interesting because in Libra's video, I was saying you might be dealing with the Gemini, which I had just done before. So I feel like all the air signs might have a similar theme. All right, so let's see, Aquarius, what is going on? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. We have the Three of Cups crossed by the Three of Swords. All right. First of all, two threes. Um, yeah, I feel like, ooh, recent past, the Devil. All right, let me just get all of them. Near Future, the Page of Pentacles. Your Energy, we have the Seven of Pentacles. For them, the Nine of Pentacles. More about you is the... Eight of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles showing up. Um, just a lot of Earth, basically. More about them is the Seven of Cups. And potential outcome here, we have the Queen of Swords. All right, so definitely some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign. Um, we do have Capricorn showing up for sure. Um, and again, air signs. So for some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you, but for some of you, the there's a third party situation that's been going on and because of that there's a lot of heartbreak and for others of you it is just feeling like you know you would want thing you would want just your own vibration to be at a happier place but you're having a hard time healing this heartbreak all right um, something did go down here in the past with that devil being here Either this connection was toxic, there was something toxic about it, or again, could have been a third party situation that was going on. Um, for others of you, just some kind of a dependency or even codependency, a lot of fear, but something was definitely not, not very healthy in the past leading up to this. Um, for you, You're putting in a lot of effort here towards something. And we're gonna clarify and see what that is, but there's a lot of effort. I feel like you're really trying to focus. Some of you might actually be focusing a lot on your work because I feel like you know you, you may have been putting in a lot of effort towards this connection or towards this healing and it just feels like it's just taking forever. So you might be actually just throwing all of your energy into work. For them, it's interesting because this is somebody who is trying to become more independent of something. So again, it's giving me this essence of a third party. Again, it doesn't have to be, and third party is not necessarily another relationship. It could be, it could be any type of a situation. All right, like work, for example, family members, addictions. Okay, it could be anything. So it's like this person is wanting to become independent, all right, of whatever that is. I feel like of that devil's energy that was here in the past, that was present. Um, but there is a there is a little bit of confusion possibly about how to go about doing that. But I feel like they are trying though. All right, so coming up in the near future with the page of pentacles, there is something, something here is happening. Something is moving. It might be small. It might be um, slow as well. But there is something, I do see this as being the offer actually coming in, in the near future. And then for the potential outcome, we do have the Queen of Swords, which I'm just going to wait and clarify that because it could be a number of things. So let's see. Let's 
clarify the Three of Cups with the Three of Swords. All right, and we have the Four of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is, um, I'm just getting really contradictory energy here. I feel like somebody has been really holding back from taking some kind of an action to move away from that devil's energy, from that conflict, which I will clarify that to see what that's about. Um, but somebody has really been stubborn when it comes to that. It's like holding on like no tomorrow, even though that this person does want a new beginning, all right, whether this is you or them. So it could be you, you know, not being able to move away from this, right, with that heartbreak. Um, or it could be them not wanting to move away from, you know, whatever it is that they're trying to become independent of. And this, even that, that holding on, that stubbornly holding on to whatever that is, is creating a lot of pain for the both of you. So let's see the devil for the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles and Strength. Oh, whatever that, whatever this was, I feel like it was going on for a very long time. It's not being specific here, but it was going on for a very, very long time. Like a pattern that either was repeating itself or just a situation that was unhealthy for a very long time. And it was also like, um, with strength, it's like there was a, like this, this, um, addiction, codependency, whatever, toxicity was very, very strong. And that's why it's so hard to break away from that. All right. So if, for example, if, for example, this is referring to you, um, not being able to move away from this connection. Yeah, that's because the connection was very, very strong. And I feel like it was moving in a specific direction for a long time, or you were in this for, for a pretty long time. And then for others of you, if this is referring to your person, and it could even be both. All right. Um, if there was an addiction or a third party situation going on again, it feels like the resolution of that was moving very, very slowly. And it was just something very, very difficult to, to deal with. All right, so let's see the Seven of Pentacles for your energy. The Queen of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like you are trying to really detach. Um, and you are, you are. I feel like you are, you know, trying to really cut this out. And again, it might feel like you're not 100% there yet, okay, with having that seven of pentacles. I'm still waiting to fully feel like you're in your power here. But the wheel is turning. You are, you are moving forward. And again, it might feel like it's happening a little bit slowly. I mean, look how she's like, um, it's like she's crawling on her knees, right? Not moving very, very fast, but the wheel is turning. It's like you're finding your own sense of self-respect. Um, just trying to be very decisive, trying to be very decisive about this and moving yourself forward, turning that wheel. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Page of Swords. Yeah, I do feel like for a lot of you, you are focusing a lot on work. Um, again, with that King of Pentacles showing up, you're focusing a lot on your work. You're focusing a lot on your own um, financial security, on your abundance, 
trying to be practical in like whatever it is that you are doing and I feel like you're using that as a means to to move away from this um And again, for some of you, it's, you know, it's gonna, it's almost like confirming again that for some of you, this person may have been married, for example, or just committed to something else, like very committed to something. And you're, you know, working hard to really move away from that. I feel like you are still, there's still that curiosity there, though, as to what's going on with this person. There's still that curiosity, but you are, you are for the most part moving forward. All right, let's see. Nine of Pentacles for them. All right, the Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, yeah, this person is... It's like they're stuck in this situation, right? Where it's like they're settling. They're not feeling very happy when it comes to their emotions, when it comes to their love. But we do have, see, that, that offer. Here it is. It's in their energy. So I do feel like this person is want, really wanting to make an offer, really trying to get themselves to be in that place where they are very stable, very secure, independent, self-reliant, or just... A way I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is the exact opposite of the devil. All right, whatever it is that was toxic, being free of that. That's what they want. That's where they want to be. Um, again, I don't feel like they're 100% there because we do have the Seven of Cups and then just clarifying these and getting this Eight of Swords um, and the Four of Cups. <laughs> so I do feel like they're really wanting to come forward to you, but possibly... Possibly waiting until they feel like they're more in that Nine of Pentacles energy, until they're more feeling more secure within their own self. Because they're, it's like they're still a little bit trapped here, right? There's still a little bit of that fear or whatever that devil's energy is. It's like it's still kind of, it's still kind of there. But it's like, you know, they... We do have the Nine of Pentacles for a reason. They are, they are doing something. They are doing something to get themselves away from that, from that attachment, whatever that is. Let's see the Seven of Cups for them as well. The Three of Cups, which was in the main situation here. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. All right. Yeah, the more, the deeper we get into this reading, the more I feel like definitely a third party or a work related situation or something. Um, because again, it's showing up here, three of cups and 10 of pentacles. It's like this person is um, just a little bit confused about their options, about the alternatives, but they are looking at those options. They are looking at those options and I feel like you know, it's basically this, this commitment or whatever it is that they've been holding on to so stubbornly, right? Versus the Ace of Cups. What it is that truly makes them happy, where it is that their heart is telling them to go. So there's a lot of, I feel like there is a lot of thinking here when it comes to being independent of that energy in order to be able to come forward with that offer. But it's like they're a little bit confused as to exactly how to, how to go about it, what they should be doing. Yeah. Well, let's see that page of pentacles coming up. Whew. The ten of cups, the nine of pentacles, and the eight of wands. Wow, okay. So yeah, there's definitely movement here. There's definitely an offer that is um, coming in and it's, it's love. 
right? The Ten of Cups. There's that Nine of Pentacles. This person, I feel like this person really is moving towards um, setting themselves free from whatever that toxic energy was in the past. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of movement here. So even if this offer doesn't fully come through, um, this person is still taking steps, practical steps, learning and moving forward, taking action when it comes to becoming independent and moving towards towards love, moving towards that Ten of Cups with you. Yeah, this is really similar. Again, I think I feel like to both Aquarius and, as well as Gemini. Uh, did I just say Aquarius? I mean Libra and Gemini. All right, let's see that Queen of Swords for the potential outcome. Wow, two kings. We have the King of Wands and the King of Swords. All right, so that is a lot of determination. That is a lot of courage. That is a lot of clarity. That is a lot of, did I say determination? It's, it's just a lot of decision making and really moving forward, going after what it is that this person wants, achieving goals, overcoming obstacles. It's all of that. It's all of that. So I see this person fully, because I feel like it's them now, um, even though you are this Queen of Swords here, but I see them coming towards you as that Queen of Swords, as the King of Wands and as the King of Swords, right? Embodying passion as well as maturity and basically having overcome this. So, wow, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be for for the end of this month, but it definitely feels like things are just moving in that, in that direction. All right, Aquarius. Or, uh, the air signs have got really positive readings this time around. Let's see, final message for Aquarius if this resonated, and please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And we have the new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. Yeah, feels about right here. <laughs> Expect powerful change. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.